NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has observed a galaxy that is about 13 billion light years away, and it looks remarkably similar to a young Milky Way. This galaxy is called the Firefly Sparkle, and it is one of the earliest examples of a galaxy that exhibits the hallmarks of a future Milky Way type galaxy. In this video, we will explore the Firefly Sparkle Galaxy and learn what it reveals about the early stages of the assembly of a Milky Way type galaxy. We will also explain why this discovery is so important and what it means for our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. So, if you are curious, stay tuned and watch this video till the end, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about astronomy and space exploration. The Firefly Sparkle Galaxy is a very distant and faint galaxy that was detected by James Webb using a technique called gravitational lensing, which is a phenomenon where the gravity of a massive object such as a cluster of galaxies bends the light of a background object such as a galaxy and magnifies it. This allows Webb to observe galaxies that would otherwise be too dim to see. This galaxy is located behind a massive cluster of galaxies, which acts as a natural telescope and amplifies the light of the Firefly Sparkle Galaxy by a factor of 10. Webb observed it at redshift of z equal to 8.3, which means that the light we see from it left the galaxy when the universe was only about 600 million years old. This is a very early epoch in the history of the universe when the first stars and galaxies were starting to form. As observed, the galaxy has a mass of about 10 billion solar masses and a size of about 2 kiloparsecs or 6,500 light-years. It has a disk-like structure with two prominent spiral arms and a central bulge. It also has a blue color, which indicates that it is actively forming new stars. But what makes the Firefly Sparkle Galaxy so special is that it contains a network of massive star clusters that are evidence of how galaxies grow, which are groups of stars that are bound together by gravity and share a common origin. They are important for galaxy formation and evolution because they can merge together to form larger structures such as the bulge and the globular clusters of the Milky Way. This galaxy has about 20 star clusters with masses ranging from 10 million to 100 million solar masses. These star clusters are very young, with ages ranging from 10 million to 100 million years. They are also very bright, with luminosities ranging from 10 million to 100 million times that of the Sun. They account for about 80% of the total light of the galaxy. This is similar to the globular clusters in the local universe, which are spherical collections of old stars that orbit the center of the Milky Way and other galaxies. Globular clusters are thought to be remnants of the early stages of galaxy formation when the universe was more dense and chaotic. So, this newly discovered galaxy gives us a glimpse of how these globular clusters may have formed and evolved. They show us a diversity of properties such as mass distribution, age distribution, and star formation history. Some star clusters are more massive, older, and less active than others. This suggests that the star clusters have different origins and environments and that they are not in equilibrium with each other. This also implies that the Firefly Sparkle Galaxy is undergoing a complex and dynamic process of galaxy assembly and evolution. One of the most interesting features of the Firefly Sparkle Galaxy is its central star cluster, which is the most massive and the brightest among the star clusters. It has a mass of about 100 million solar masses and a luminosity of about 100 million times that of the Sun. It is also very young, with an age of about 10 million years. It is so bright that Webb was able to obtain its spectra, which are the fingerprints of light that reveal the chemical composition, temperature, and motion of the source. The spectra of the central star cluster show some remarkable features that tell us a lot about its formation and environment. For example, it shows evidence of high temperatures, low metallicity, and a top-heavy initial mass function. High temperatures mean that the central star cluster is very hot, with an average temperature of about 40,000 Kelvin or 72,000 F. This is much hotter than the average temperature of the Sun, which is about 6,000 Kelvins or 10,000 F. These high temperatures indicate that it contains very massive and bright stars, which are more than 10 times the mass of the Sun. On the other hand, low metallicity means that the central star cluster is very poor in elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron. These elements are called metals in astronomy, and they are produced by the nuclear fusion of stars and the supernova explosions of massive stars. This indicates that the central star cluster is very primitive and that it formed from gas that was not enriched by previous generations of stars. This also means that the central star cluster is very similar to the first stars that formed in the universe, which are called population 3 stars. Finally, a top-heavy initial mass function means that the central star cluster has more massive stars than expected from a normal distribution. 
The initial mass function is a mathematical function that describes how many stars of different masses are formed in a given region. A normal initial mass function, which is observed in most star-forming regions in the local universe, has more low-mass stars than high-mass stars. A top-heavy initial mass function, which is observed in the central star cluster, has more high-mass stars than low-mass stars. This implies that this cluster formed in a very dense and turbulent environment where the gas was compressed and fragmented into massive clumps. Another intriguing feature of the Firefly Sparkle Galaxy is its companion galaxy, which is also at the same redshift and is located at a projected distance of about 2 kiloparsecs or 6,500 light-years away from the Firefly Galaxy. This companion galaxy is smaller and fainter than the main galaxy, with a mass of about 1 billion solar masses and a size of about 0.5 kiloparsecs or 1,600 light-years. It has a round shape and a red color, which indicates that it is less active in star formation. The companion galaxy is very interesting because it may have a connection with the Firefly Sparkle Galaxy and its star clusters. It is possible that the companion galaxy is interacting or merging with the Firefly Galaxy and that this interaction or merger may have triggered or enhanced the star formation in the star clusters. This is because interactions and mergers between galaxies can cause the gas to become more dense and unstable and to collapse into new stars and star clusters. It may have a different origin and history than the Firefly Sparkle Galaxy, and that may explain the diversity of the star clusters. It is possible that this companion galaxy is a satellite galaxy that was captured by the gravity of the main galaxy and that it brought some of its gas and stars with it. This may have contributed to the mass and the metallicity of some of the star clusters. It may also have a different fate than the Firefly Sparkle Galaxy, and that may affect the future evolution of the system. It is possible that it will eventually merge with the Firefly Galaxy and that this will create a larger and more massive galaxy. This may also trigger a burst of star formation and a feedback of energy and metals into the intergalactic medium. Alternatively, it is possible that this galaxy will escape from the gravity of the main galaxy and that this will leave behind a smaller and less massive galaxy. This may also reduce the star formation and the feedback of the system. The companion galaxy and the possible interaction are very important and significant because they provide us with a rare and valuable opportunity to study the role of galaxy mergers in the early universe. They also help us to understand how the diversity and the complexity of galaxies emerge from the interactions of smaller and simpler components. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the universe.